New developments tonight. We pressed officials and got an explanation about this controversial white doll on UNC Charlotte's campus. Administrators tell us it was all part of an art project. The doll was spotted on campus hanging from a tree with a noose around its neck. The doll is now gone and the school says there is no evidence to suggest the project was motivated by racial bias. Evan West is at the school and Evan is anyone being disciplined for this? Well, Sarah, we just heard from a school spokesperson. They tell us that they're not aware of any disciplinary action tonight, but that could change tomorrow. This tree right here was actually where the doll was hanging from. You can tell it's long gone right in front of this art building here. But the students we spoke to today say they don't care if this stunt was racially motivated or not. The person behind this, they say, should be punished. It is something that you don't you don't expect on campus. It's a calm, cold night at UNC Charlotte. A stark contrast to a day that students say was full of controversial conversation. I mean, it's been happening around campus, people talking about it. It all started Tuesday morning with this tweet featuring a photo of a white doll hanging from a tree with a noose around its neck. The doll appearing to be right outside of the Row Arts building. That person needs to be, yeah, that person needs to be found, and then good. they should they should have a punishment for sure, face of consequences but, uh, for that. I mean, that's not acceptable. Yeah. The school quickly responded about the doll. Christine Davis, the associate vice chancellor and dean of students, tweeting early Tuesday afternoon that the doll was taken down and the school was looking into it. Not long after, students and faculty received this Niner notice, a campus alert saying the doll was determined to be an art project submitted by a student of color for an end-of-semester assignment. At this time, there is no evidence to suggest the project was motivated by racial bias. People are, you know, enraged about it, uh, all over the Instagram and all that stuff, people talking about it, disturbed and so on like that. Again, that doll is gone tonight, but tomorrow the student, maybe even the professor, could face disciplinary action. Reporting live at UNC Charlotte, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Evan, thank you.